Hi, I'm Javier Toledo. Welcome to this series of videos. We are going to learn how to create a very simple Python tool and we'll create the UI for that tool using PySide. We will create this tool from scratch, so I'm going to show you how to package everything in this folder here. So this tool will be very easy to share and to install or install from your computer. For that, we will use the packages system. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my Houdini home folder and create a new folder here called packages. In here, I'm going to create a new JSON file. I'm going to call this renamer.json. The name doesn't matter as long as this is a JSON file. And I'm going to write here a very simple line so we are going to store in the path this path here so i'm going to paste it here and replace this with forward slashes so that's it so now if i run houdini it will look inside this folder here for specific folders where we will create specific files so the two folders that we are going to use are the Python 2.7 libs. Here is where we will write our custom Python module, where we will create all the code to execute our tool. And then we will create the toolbar folder. And in here we will create the shelf that will host our tool so we can click it or call it from the tab menu. So these are the two things that we need. So in here, I'm going to create a very simple Python file just to test this out. So this is going to be called live renamer.py. Yes, and we are going to write just print hello world like so so when we import this if the shell prints hello world we'll know that this is working so this is what we need so far so let's run houdini okay so now let's create our new shelf we will store it in our toolbar folder that we just created and you can call this whatever you want so I will I will just call this renamer.shelf okay and this is the renamer and renamer accept so we have this clean shelf here and as you can see, we have the shelf here. So let's create our tool. So this will be the renamer. It will be the live renamer because it will work live as we type the new names. And in the script, just for now, we are going to import the live renamer. So if this is working, when we click this, to print hello world so now we have all we need to start writing our code so in the next video we are going to start writing our code and start developing our tool see you in the next one bye bye